we have been getting a ton of questions about the unemployment filing process and deservedly so some states tell you to wait some states say go ahead and some states don't tell you anything so what are you to do do you file now do you wait how do you list yourself what's your reason for not being working all these questions I'm going to answer to the best of my ability in this video and stick around because at the end of the video I'm going to share with you my overall philosophy when it comes to dealing with the government and all getting all of these benefits hey everybody it is Jay Crater with the ride share guy and by now you know about 10 days ago the 2.2 uh, $2 trillion dollar stimulus act uh, bill thing got passed it's called the cares c-a-r-e-s act and it provides for people like you and me rideshare drivers those of us who are independent contractors those of us that work for a company that doesn't put money into the unemployment fund to get to get unemployment benefits and that has raised a whole lot of questions because the different states are reacting to it differently and uh, there's just a lot of a lot of shifts happening uh, as we speak so I'm just going to address a lot of the questions that have come up and uh, let's let's jump right in okay the first question is how much can you earn well that's a state by state answer all right so there's two components to what you can earn you can earn your normal standard unemployment we call standard unemployment and each state has a different amount um, in, in Illinois, it's $471 a week. In uh, New Jersey, it's $713 a week. And as you can't be sure you're gonna get that exact amount because each state has a different way of calculating what you're gonna be entitled to. And in addition to that, uh, for 16 weeks, you're gonna be able to make an additional $600 on top of that. And uh, that's, that's part of this CARES Act. So you add the numbers up, and uh, you're in the you know ballpark of a thousand dollars a week now again the extra six hundred dollars is only for 16 weeks and the standard unemployment instead of being 26 has been stretched all the way to 39 weeks so you start adding those numbers up it's a significant amount so number two should I apply now or shall I wait so I looked at the Illinois website and what I found there is it said to wait then um, I looked at the New York website and they said go ahead and apply so my philosophy here is waiting doesn't usually benefit me at all so I say take action get your name on the list if they tell you you got to apply again well then you can apply again but as long as you get your name on the list I say then when this money does start to roll towards us you can say well I applied back then so my benefits should start then and that way you're covered so I... however if you don't want to apply because your state is saying don't apply that's completely your call right every state's a little bit different and every driver is a little bit different um, again spend what 15 20 30 minutes whatever it's gonna take to apply and at least I say then you got yourself covered number three how do you apply where do you find out how to go to go and apply online so all you need to do is Google uh, unemployment application and then the name of your state and as you can see here I apply I did that for the state of New York and what you're seeing there it says get unemployment assistance the state of New York so then I clicked on that and then you see what I saw next it in this state they are encouraging you when you're a non-traditional employee to go ahead and apply and you can see it says uh, apply for UI benefits and then it shows you two different ways that you can get paid and both of them net out to you're going to get your unemployment insurance benefits so that is how you do it so just go to Google and Google unemployment application and the name of your state and that will usually take you right to where you want to be number four what occupation should you state so in California I had the option to select um, airport service driver now in some states we're being told you actually have the option of checking off that you are an independent contractor okay so if that's the case obviously that would be the one you would want to select in California when I applied I didn't have that option 
So some states are already recognizing that there are going to be independent contractors, freelancers, gig economy workers applying, and they give you that option. If they don't, find the closest thing that you can to being a driver and, uh, and check that off. Number five, what do you put as your status? I mean, what do you put as the reason why you're not working? Well, in California, I was able to check off, it said public health, but in other states, that's not an option. I was fortunate to uh, get this sent to us from one of our uh, subscribers in Pennsylvania. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different options here. You can say you were fired, suspended, laid off, lack of work, quit, leave of absence, labor dispute, strike lockout, retired, plant closed, still employed. I suggested that this driver use the lack of work because in most markets uh, there's just not enough work to make it make sense because demand is down so much. So what you're going to have to do is just make a common sense estimate as to it. If you didn't have that option then I would say laid off, right, laid off uh, because the demand is so low. If you worked for an employer they would lay you off because there's not enough revenue coming in to keep you hired. So just pick the one that makes the most sense given what your options are in your particular market. Okay, number six, who is your employer? Well, of course, it's gonna be Uber or Lyft. And what you're seeing here is the information that you would need to uh, put Uber and Lyft. So you just need their, the name of the company, their headquartered address, which you're seeing right now. Um, don't really have a direct supervisor, so I just said put the you know the CEO of each company, and you also oftentimes have to put the phone number in, and uh, there you have all the information you need uh, to put in your employer. Should you uh, primarily work for Uber or primarily work for Lyft? In my case, I put put Lyft because last year 90% of my driving was for Lyft. Seventh question comes to us from. Uh... This article, which uh, came out today called Six Ways Uber and Lyft Drivers Can Get Free Money Right Now. Uh, in, in this article, I laid out uh, six different ways you can uh, get, get and apply for money. And uh, at the end of this, you know, we always take our questions and answers. And Verge asked a good question. He said, uh, thanks for this. Am I still eligible for unemployment insurance if I'm a part-time driver? but he still has his full-time job, but he's worried about getting laid off. So he's not sure if he can claim uh, unemployment. Um, and he also shares that doing rideshare supplements his income in terms of rent and food on the table. Thanks in advance. So he was counting on the money. Unfortunately, uh, Verge, in this case, you would not be able to apply for unemployment because you currently have a job. So you gotta be unemployed. Um, now, if you were to get laid off or furloughed from your full-time job, then you could apply for unemployment and get all the benefits we've shared about in this video. But until you're unemployed, uh, so if you're a part-time driver with a regular full-time job and you've still got that job and you haven't been laid off yet, then you cannot file for unemployment. I mean, you can, but you'll be turned down because they'll see that you work for somebody else and you're currently getting paid. All right? Excellent. All right. So key takeaways, those are the main questions you gotta get straight when you apply for unemployment. You wanna be sure that you understand which, what kind of money you can get, right? You wanna make sure that you've got an employer, you got a reason why you're not working, right? You um, wanna decide if you're going to apply now or you're going to wait, right? So these are the big questions that we're getting asked about and I've answered them in my judgment um, what has worked the best for me. Of course, it comes down to your call, um, but these are my recommendations. Now, what I wanted to share with you was my philosophy when it comes to um, all of these questions. And my philosophy is be proactive. Uh, many, many decades ago, I suppose, I read a book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And the first habit that he mentions is be proactive. And that has served me very well. And if you bear with me, I'm gonna read this uh, excerpt from that habit, because I think it's valuable for all of us during this time of difficulty and strife. So the number one habit, be proactive. Take responsibility for your reaction to your experiences. Take the initiative to respond positively and improve the situation. 
Recognize your circle of influence and circle of concern. Focus your responses and initiatives on the center of your influence and constantly work to expand it. Don't sit and wait in a reactive mode, waiting for problems to happen, circle of concern, before taking action. Again, that's from a great book. If you have time and you want to read one of the best self-help books ever written, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. I mean, it's considered a masterpiece. It's such a good book. Highly recommend it. All right, so go, pre- go be preactive. Go, go, go do what you need to do. Get this stuff done. Apply, you know, apply for everything that you can, and then you can let go of it. Don't have to worry about it anymore until you do. Keep checking the websites for updates and uh, just stay on top of it. And that's all we can do because you know what? We can't force the money through the pipeline. The money's gonna come when it comes. We're gonna do the best that we can so that we're in line and then we're gonna get what we can. I guarantee you it's gonna take a lot longer than you and I think it's going to take. I can tell that already because it's the government and it moves slow and this is unprecedented what's happening here in our country. So things are just going to get clumsy websites aren't going to work federal isn't going to talk to state properly there's just going to be a bunch of breakdowns but it's going to come i firmly believe with my heart the money's coming so i take a lot of solace in that and i've applied for everything i can so i'm not even thinking about it anymore and i invite you to do the same this is jay crater i want to say thank you so much for watching the video i hope this helped you and uh, has inspired you to go ahead and just take action get signed up for everything that you can and then, uh, then go read a book. Go watch a Netflix show. Do something fun for yourself. All right? If you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps for more people to see it. And you all be safe out there. You have a great day. Bye for now.